members of the Future Forecasting Group were tasked with remote viewing CHIEF, the Centrifugal Hypergravity and Interdisciplinary Experiment Facility in Hangzhou, China, a mysterious project that involves the world's largest hypergravity centrifuge to reportedly compress time and space. Remote viewers were given a blind target, meaning the only information they had was the arbitrary target designation T5K2-N905. But they were all seeing the same thing. The grey buildings at the top are this multi-leveled, kind of like industrial kind of facility um, with lots of above-ground structures. But then I felt like the, the main work was being done in these compartments underground that you would reach to by a shaft, where I felt like there was a really strange... Um, energy, energy source being, yeah, being played with and used. There was some kind of a power in there. There's people there, there's a building, there's people. And inside of the building, it's kind of some kind of a heavy energy thing going on in there. Kind of like a lab setting. They're wearing lab coats. People working in a laboratory. It feels like it's, there's something hidden in secret here. And I had an uneasy feeling about it. Like I shouldn't be kind of spying on this, you know, like this was a foreign government's kind of research. A sense of restricted access for like scientists and engineers. It's an honor to work there, but it feels slightly secretive. Uh, and I just had a cautious feel as if everyone is aware of potential harm that could be done if you got your physical body in the wrong place with this. There's also a structure involved, uh, something circular with energy and motion there. On its side, it was, it looked like this to me. But it reminded me of like a like a nuclear power plant system or something like that. I got a clear visual of a very large room with a very large cylindrical shaped object. I just see this thing moving so fast. It was hard to tell as you know, I wrote is this is like a blur to me. It's moving very fast and maybe has also has an energetic component to it, like not just a physical thing. I was getting spinning at a really high RPM. The rotation, there's a pull and a force associated with it. A spiraling energy uh, that felt like it was shooting up. On one hand, compression and focus into a central point, um, drawing inwards, pulling in. And then uh, on the flip side, it's the opposite, uh, you know, getting thrown out to the edges. And it was like some kind of magnetic field that pulls and pushes continually. There was a, a cycling to it where it would build up, compress, and then release and go up. Uh, and then it would build up, compress and release and go down and, and it cycled that way and repeated. I see again this kind of spoked thing with motion around it. You know, there's a circular device with a core here. It had these arms with things on it and this, yeah. this whole thing was spinning. I also saw like a, <clears throat> a torsion field being created. It radiated outward like a donut. And it reminded me of the double slit experiment. It reminds me of something like the double split experiment or how uh, one one's focus can affect uh, waves and particles. Like creating a separate envelope or a distinct ex existence. A panel or conduit unit and it's absorbing, pulling it in something like a black hole. And the next thing I saw, like this looked like a black hole to me. And it was like having this ripple effect and the notion here was opening up a wormhole in space. I was instantly reminded of the movie uh, Contact with Jodie Foster. And they devised this machine that looked like some kind of a gyroscope thing, but it's a bunch of spinning circles. And then they drop her in the middle of it and then she goes through a wormhole. So this is interesting target it is the uh, chief the Centrifugal Hypergravity and Interdisciplinary Experiment Facility in Hangzhou, China. And what I like about this is it's a real place and it's uh, verifiable surroundings and it's got a really interesting technical thing that happens is this spinning centrifuge. And I was trying to figure out what, how would a remote viewer perceive how would a remote viewer perceive hypergravity? So interesting, <laughs> interesting stuff. But we did get verifiable information about the uh, place itself. 
So what they claim is that they make like earthen levees and then spin this thing up to see how the levees uh, react. I don't believe that. I believe there's, I believe there's more to it. This is like uh, really advanced physics. So here we go. We're going to start with, I believe, Daz Smith. My opinion on the Chinese uh, facility is that they're doing a bit more experimentation than just uh, will a dam survive an earthquake and that yeah. kind of stuff. And you know. Edward, I um, we didn't show it because uh, Dick didn't uh, snip it out, but in my Playfair, I got that same grid pattern that, that you put in your session over and over again. It showed up in my session too. You know, I wonder about that because it's so it's so com common in the mind of what a gravitational time space grid looks like in a science book. Yeah. You know, like that image that I grabbed, that was right from the I Einstein's theory of gravity. And that's really, in my opinion, what, what I was kind of drawn to was this grid of time and space. And then there's some kind of a vortex moving into it. Um, like many of us got wormhole creation or black hole creation. Pretty freaking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> With with that, I will say ni hao, which is hello in Chinese. We'd like to give a shout out to the Chinese researchers that are watching this, the physicists and intel agency. We'll give a shout out to uh, DARPA, MIT, the NSA, uh, universities and think tanks around the world, and some physicists who are watching. And if some physicist would like to reach out to us and give us feedback on some of our, I, there's stuff that we just said there that we don't understand that I bet a physicist is going to go, oh, wow, those guys are pretty good. So um, interesting target. Good job, guys. Man, we had a lot of corroborating stuff for a double blind target. That was pretty great. Can you imagine being in that building when that thing is cranked at... <laughs> 1900 Earth's gravity. I mean, I would imagine you, it'd be like you start to see the walls start to warping or something like that. I, would, I, would I, I, that I think I did freaking. read that it was in the ground. It is slightly, there is parts of it that are down in the ground because I, like what you're saying, it would probably shake the thing. Oh, you have to anchor that thing pretty yeah, good. You've got yeah, to yeah, anchor yeah. that thing, man. Imagine if that thing came loose. Oh my yeah. God, that'd be a freaking Have crazy. you guys ever been in an MRI scan? I mean, that's... That's loud enough with the magnets that are spinning around your head yeah. as you're just led there, let alone something the size of this that's going 19 times the Earth's gravity. Chinese government invites us all to come take a tour. Would you go? I don't think they probably... I was... I think if any of us went to China, they'd put us in a room and give us a pen and paper and go, now you view for me. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be kind of scary going near something like that. Like, totally. what are the effects of... Yeah, what are the effects of being near something moving that fast giving exactly off kind of i think you, i think the walls would start to warp and you'd start to you know something it'd be like a freaking you know, wormhole opening up. philadelphia experiment type things mm -hmm. might happen there yeah. yeah 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 with that i will say ni hao which is hello in chinese we'd like to give a shout out to the chinese researchers that are watching this the physicists and intel agency we'll give a shout out to uh darpa mit the NSA, uh, universities and think tanks around the world, and some physicists who are watching. And if some physicist would like to reach out to us and give us feedback on some of our... I, there's stuff that we just said there that we don't understand that I bet a physicist is going to go, oh, wow, those guys are pretty good. See the whole thing at futureforecastinggroup.com.